because I told you I'm tired of passive Christians. We have too much passive Christians who just sit around and allow people to say anything to them and do anything to them and take what is theirs and they don't even have enough uh, uh, boldness to open their mouth and say, no, you can't have this. This is mine. You can't touch this because this belongs to me. And I did not give you any authority to touch this. Because you have to understand that everything that belongs to you, only you can give authority but not to be taken away. Nobody can walk up on you and take your keys to your car. That's your keys and that's your car. And anytime they do that, that person is called a robber. If they take it and you didn't give them consent, they just steal something for you, from you. And when they steal it from you, you still have the right to get it back because it still belongs to you. And the enemy has some things beyond and it's now time he said, the spirit of the Lord is supposed to raise up a standard. And when the enemy come against you one way, he got to flee seven ways. And when you catch the teeth, he got to pay you back seven balls. Are you ready for some back pay tonight? So the first thing, if you're going to get back pay, is you have to know and catch who the thief is. Because some of you still trying to figure out what went wrong. Well, in John 10 and 10, the Bible says the thief came only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. John 10, 10, the thief, the devil. Who's the thief? The devil. He came to steal, to kill, to destroy your life. But Jesus says, but I came that you may have life and that you may have life more abundantly. Are you ready for abundant living? Oh, Holy Ghost, help us tonight. I feel like an explosion is about to take place. I feel like a volcano eruption is about to hit some of you. There's something about to wake up in you and you will have the tenacity of a bulldog that you go going after what is yours. And when you get a grip of it, ain't nobody gonna be able to take it out of your mouth. I'm looking for a spiritual giant inside of you to rise up. The boys on the side say enough is enough. They don't look like they serious. Find somebody else who look like they know what you're talking about. Tell them enough is enough. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. If the uncircumcised Philistine could drive like this, if the uncircumcised Philistine could live like this, if those who don't know God could have a life like this, and you are a child of the king, you are connected to the king of kings and to the lord of lords, you are no peasant, you are a royal priesthood, you are a peculiar person, you are a child of God. If the sinners can live like this, how come? I can't live like, I can't drive like this too. Y'all saw that you got, y'all didn't see it. The angel is moving in here tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, if they can live, and drive the best. Why are you 
struggling. Why are you still driving that car with smoking from the muffler? I can, I, yeah, I came to yuck up your vexation tonight, amen? That's, that's what I want to do, because I want to get you out of that place of complacency. And stop settling. You, you, so much of us are settling. Hallelujah. Well, you understand, I'm a child of God. But I'm sick, and I'm sick because I believe the Lord want me to be sick. To teach me something. The Lord ain't have to make you sick or allow you to be sick to teach you nothing. If he want to teach you something, he'll find ways to teach you. You don't have to be sick for him to teach you that. No, leave me like this, you know, because I believe this is how God is happy. God ain't have you like that. God don't want you sick. He said, it is not my wish that any should perish. Hallelujah. He said, hallelujah. I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospereth. Hallelujah. It's not his will for you to suffer. He don't want you to, okay, let me say, he don't want you to suffer all your life. My God, you done been alive for 50 years and you were suffering for 50 years. No, 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 no. I don't think it's God's plan for you to be suffering for 50 years that you were alive or 30 years that you were alive. You could never say that you had a good day. You could never say that things was going good in your life. It's time now to turn that around. I don't know about you, hallelujah, but I made up in my mind the ladder shall be greater. I don't care what happened back then, but from this point on, I'm going to have the greatest, hallelujah. I'm going to see the greatest. I'm going to see God moving in my life. I'm going to drive the best. I'm going to live the best. I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to serve my God. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you think about me. I'm going to live righteous. And I'm going to serve my God. But I ain't going to do it in no breakdown car. Tell the person inside you stop settling, stop settling, stop settling. Hallelujah. You're settling for job, you're settling for car, you're settling for house, now you're settling for mine. Well, I know, I know he looked like he ain't 100% in the woman. Mm. Mm. I went, I, I, went, I went in the store the other day. I was looking for some, some lemonade. I asked the lady, do you have any lemonade? She said, well, we didn't really have no lemonade, but we have some half and half. I said, what is that? What is half and half? I never heard about that before. Either you got lemonade or you ain't got lemonade. I ain't want no half and half because I know what the other half is. And when you put the other half with lemonade, I know how that's going to taste. I want something when I drink it, I know I'm drinking lemonade. You can't sell it for nobody who ain't sure if they want woman. You settling, you settling. Well, I know we have another woman, but you know, if any of without he with me, are uh, 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 you settling? Twelve hours of prayer. Twelve hours of prayer. Can you imagine twelve hours of non stop prayer? With God's powerful tag team partners, Apostle Edison, God's man of faith, and Prophetess Maddie Nottage, God's prayer general and daughter of fire. 
praying all night long with you for your family's most urgent prayer requests and yes, for God to revive our beloved Bahamas. Some of you gotta learn how to get up 12 a.m. 12 midnight and just start doing warfare. Rako Shakamande Beke Shakamabakashapa Rabakashamande. Every witch altar, every satanic altar will fall tonight. Be destroyed now in Jesus. That's the all night 12 minutes to break through prayer service at Believers Faith Outreach Ministries International. Carmichael Road West opposite John J number 8 with Apostle Edison and Prophetess Maddie Nottage. Friday, November 10th from 7.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. the next morning. Somebody lift up your documents. Say take this to the high court, Prophetess. If you missed the last one, you don't want to miss this one. People are coming from everywhere. Pastors, intercessors, prayer warriors, gatekeepers, armor bearers, worshipers, dance groups for one big reason. It's time to pray again. Bring the entire family. This is a no chair event. Reserve your prayer spot. Get your Maddie Nottage prayer mat and prophetic prayer pillow from our bookstore now. Call 1242-698-1383 or 888-825-7568. That's the 12 minutes to breakthrough all night prayer service. Friday night, November 10th at 7.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. I hear a name in the realm of the spirit. And I hear this name tonight is, is Edna. Edna, Edna, E-D-N-A, Edna, Edna, the name is what? Edna, Roshka Vahambra Hindi School, Edna, Roshka Vahambra Hindi God said tonight, I will perform a miracle for Edna. Yes, Prophetess. You call the name Edna. Edna is my grandmother. Your grandmother? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hallelujah! Is Edna still alive? Where is she? She is home. She's 88 years old. Who is in Bain Town? She doesn't live in Bain Town. Who is in Bain Town? Do you know anybody in that area? No. When you stood here, I saw above you Bain Town. Like being town, being town. I mean, I'm talking about like the heart of being town. And I'm asking the Lord, where's your husband? Well, he worked. He's working. He's work. I mean, he's, he's at work. He's at work. Yes. But you are believing God. How many years have you been married? Two years now. Two. Mm-hmm. I'm going to break the curse. The reason why he's going to break the curse is, first of all, the marriage it was not supposed to happen. Do you understand the... <laughs> You're real. The... <laughs> Prophesy. Prophesy. <laughs> Prophesy. You know, it's like the playing of this board, these strings. And I see this person very evil trying to manipulate this whole marriage not to happen. In fact, I can tell you it's like November. 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 What is today? October. Like November 8th. November 8th. To November 8th is like they're saying this by November 8th. The devil is alive. That watch, you know, they didn't give you all so much little intervals uh-huh. and all their dates expired. Yes. Don't you worry about <laughs> this date. Michael. So 
The manipulation was to change this man's mind away from you. You, you people, I want your movie to be My over Lord. now. Prophesy. Okay. <laughs> Come on now. And the Lord said, I will not permit it. Thank you, Jesus. I will not allow it. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying this to you tonight, Mama, because <laughs> the Bible said, Panina had children, yeah. but Hannah had none. Come on. Your adversary is sitting with children. And they said, You will have none. Jesus, you right. La carriage de bon de reboska. Prophesy. Ma carabende de hosa. But the Lord is telling me to go back to Edna. He says, Go back to Edna. Because now it is not Edna that has you trapped. The powers that are working now are working by reason of an ex. Eternal adversary, but by re- but their entryway to you is by reason of something that has happened in the life of Edna. My God. My God. Yes, ma'am. Her grandmother's name is Edna Bain. The settlement that they grew up in is Moss Town, and there's a little section where they call up the hill Bain Town. I wish I could find anybody right now. Hallelujah. Mama, you know this to be so? She is my aunt. That's my family. She is your aunt? Yes. Now you don't see this woman standing there. I was trying to get her attention, but she didn't look my way. She was so busy saying, oh. <laughs> Her grandmother's name it's is Edna, Edna Bean. And she's from a settlement called Moss Town. Moss Town. Where the generational property is, it's called um, Bean Town. Bean Town. <laughs> Prophesy. Oh. I want you to understand. Mama, do I know you? No, ma'am. How much are they paying you to tell us the story? <laughs> they can't pay me to tell the story. I know. <laughs> we have not had this conversation. I don't know. I don't know. Am no, I ma'am. supposed to know Edna? I don't know. No, ma'am. Mystery. Yeah. Revelation. Amen. To Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Telling you why I'm talking to you yeah. about all of that. I thank cuz so much cuz. I thank Jesus for bringing you here tonight, cuz. Amen. You will not leave empty, cuz. Amen. He is taking me, I said a rabbit trail. Yeah. So I can go that long way to tell you. That your marriage number one shall not end. Hallelujah. That's number one. Robust. Number two. Your womb shall bear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You will have your own baby. Thank you, Jesus. I break the curse. Cousin, I want you to come. Cousin, both of you come. I'm going to break a deliberate curse from over your lives that was rendered on that hill. Stand this way for me. That was rendered on that hill. Thank you, right there. That was rendered. Take one step this way. Right there. Good. And the Lord said that I must break this curse. You are going to be a testimony in this family, Mama. 
you're going to be a testimony, Thank both you, you and your husband. A radical anointing shall be upon yours, says God. There's also an anointing that shall hit your lives for evangelism. Like I just see the Lord taking you like you can get ready, you can write this word down because as the word of the Lord has spoken tonight, so is he speaking it to you. And God said, I shall take you all even into some places. And even into the family islands. Even into South Florida. You, women of wisdom, woman of wisdom, woman of wisdom, cause that I shall cause you to become the intercessor. The intercessor. The intercessor. The intercessor. The intercessor. Now, when you really want to shout, you gotta lose the hand and you gotta do <laughs> But God said, I will cause you to be the intercessor. Do you know why the Lord will cause you to be the intercessor, Mama? Because in your heart, there is not a hate born. There is not a hate born. You have a very forgiving spirit. You will cook and you will take care of everybody. You will. Amen. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. We are talking right now. And you are thinking about Thanksgiving, you're thinking about Christmas, you're thinking about all these things. How are you going to feed this and how are you going to have this? God says, I shall cause you to be the intercessor, the one that shall pray, that shall stand in the gap. And the words that shall be even delivered tonight concerning your family. He said, I will cause you the one to be the one to bring, to bring, to birth them, to birth these words. You see, after the prophet is finished, there must be somebody that can hey, birth forth the word. My God. Brew over it like a hand. My God. That's what the Lord says. Raquel Hoshkara, you. He says, I will heal your body. I will heal your body. Raquel Koshkarabana. And he said, the reason why I want to heal your body, because the enemy wants to raise He wanna play a trick on your body. God said, I'm gonna take a man, a man, diabetes out of your body. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take it out. Hendries. 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 Yes. Have you gone to college? I've been there. Uh, yes, ma'am. And? And I came back home. Are you finished? No, ma'am. Why not? Due to finances. God says I'm going to turn that around. Hallelujah! I'm sorry. God says he's going to turn that around. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Is Jesus in this building tonight or? Hallelujah! Yes, Mama. When I say y'all, Jesus. When I say Prophet is mighty not just a real deal. <laughs> let me say something. I don't normally go to churches like that, but the Lord being pressing on me heavy. Come out tonight. I call Hendricks. Stacy's the one who tell me you gotta come to Mighty Nordic's church to break some curse. For a whole month, God had me reading evil altars. Woman, I tell you, you're real. You're real. <laughs> prophet, sorry, prophet, you're real. I, I'm just overwhelmed because you're real. Amen. And thank you, evangelist, for such affirmation to my ministry. <laughs> so this altar is going to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank it's you, going Jesus. to be destroyed. Are you ready? So now tonight, we will turn this away yes. Let go. In the name of Jesus. Let the fruit of this womb come. 
Every demonic spirit go, barrenness leave. In the name of Jesus. Let this woman bear. Yeah. Ooh. Two boys. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody give the Lord a praise. One more thing, when she said that my marriage was not going to survive, she was on point because I had fight and they tried to get my husband to leave me. But thank God, my marriage was in by God. Yes. And she was on point. That's the real, real way to go on. She was just so happy. She was just on point. She ain't nothing about that. It's just off. It was like the information was just download <laughs> accurate. And as she released it, I was like confirmed. And I had to say, no. My honey named Bain, she's Bain, 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 Bain Town. Let's yeah. go to that couple of hell, we go with Bain Town. If you live in the Bahamas, the Family Islands, the United States of America, or wherever you live in the world, we invite you to be a part of our weekly global prayer revival services here at Believer's Faith Outreach Ministries International, Carmichael Road West in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. International visitors are invited to join Apostle Edison and Prophetess Maddie Nottage this and every Friday night at 7.30 p.m. through Sunday morning at 9 a.m. for our life-changing miracle, healing, and deliverance services. Hey Amen. The devil is not supposed to have you on the run. You're supposed to have the devil on the run. You are not supposed to be afraid of the devil. He said, Behold, I give you power over all the power of the enemy, and nothing should be able to withstand you. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, uh, it says there's a time to everything. There is a time and a season and a purpose for everything under the sun. A time to weep, a time to mourn, a time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to die, a time to live, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Experience the prophetic and breathtaking miracles from God like you've never seen before. Call 1-888-825-7568 or 1242-698-1383. Log on to www.maddynottage.org.